else wash at all. Let's not go to that place. That place is kind of dangerous right now. Instead, head to here. The rich hat. Terribly threatened upon entering this area. Oh no, there's a larva. Oh god, no. It'll kill me. Oh wait, no. It's, it's, it's dead. Stop dancing. Oh god. Dead. God damn it. Ah, and I said this place was less dangerous. I was wrong. And what was in there? A fucking schematic. Of course. Not even a good one. Oh yeah, you can dig. How did I hit with, like, five times with that? Like, what? Oh, okay, you, you fire both of them twice. Okay. I really wish I had more fucking ammo than, you know, 15 bullets. That'd be nice. Oh, maybe not. And I get dazed, so I can't actually fucking, like, do anything. Okay. Oh yeah, more enemies. Why did this go in cool? I'm gonna die again, aren't I? Yep. Fuck sakes. <sighs> I've never actually come to the Rich Hive first. I've always done the, uh, like, the port place. And I've always, like, died there at least once because it's pretty dangerous. And apparently this place is pretty dangerous, too.
Yeah, that's actually a pretty big increase there. I don't know what I want to put points into. Waterproof coating. I really don't like these guys. These centipedes. I don't like them. I shouldn't play as Gunsling. But if I do, because I'm pretty sure Saw Butcher is just better than Gunslinger, but if I do that, then I'd have to be a melee character. And also, I've been pretty unlucky with getting ammunition. That, that, that's another thing. This, this ammo is pretty goddamn bad. And the shop didn't have any ammo that was actually worth buying. There was that stuff that was slightly better. But only slightly. So can I get some ammo game? my bullets. <sighs> Too many enemies, run like a bitch. how that guy was dodging in between me and the, the larva unable to actually do anything. <laughs> Which is kind of a problem. It does make me weaker because I don't have the points dedicated to anything, but I don't it also would make me weaker if I put points into things that turn out to be useless later on. 
But if I'm dead later on, that doesn't really matter, huh? shitty ones of these. To hopefully knock enemies back. And out of ammo. That'd be really nice to not be out of ammo constantly, too have a quiver with actually a decent amount of ammunition. That'd be nice. And out of ammo again. actually have the steam capacity. I'd be losing steam each turn then. As opposed to gaining two. I'm not really sure how a disease is being resisted by my armor, but uh, I'll take it, I guess. Long ass corridor to the next level. First rare we've seen. Oh my god. That was just it's regular attacks. Jesus. No, don't want to touch that. There's a staircase down? What the fuck's that? Get some steam while we can, drop the guns, and then we'll run away. Holy crap, that's a lot of riches. Holy crap, that's a lot of riches. And not like loot riches, just... I don't know, insect creature riches. If it was loot riches, I'd be a lot happier to see a whole bunch of them. I am tempted to go in there, because this character's got god-awful equipment, but that means he's more likely to die in there if he goes there, because he can't fucking kill anything, because he's got bad ammo and very little of that. But, you know, maybe I can get some better equipment here. 
Or maybe I'll just die. One of the two. You know, this is actually not so bad. Void echoes. That's a lot of damage. Level 40 enemies. Great. I just like abuse the staircase here just, or do they heal when I leave the area I don't actually know where the fuck did you guys come from no I want to I want to target the fucking enemy right here game five of them burst out of me wow They heal. I don't know. All I want is some better goddamn bullets game. Should have gone to the port place. Yeah, they healed. Okay. Oh, the decrepit stairs crumble as you fly in them. Ah, damn it. So I can't do that. Okay, then let's just not, not even try then, since we're going to die if we keep doing that. Hell, we might die anyway. <laughs> the damn injectors were on cooldown. I couldn't do anything. Holy fuck. Uh, I've already died three times. I'm probably not going to win with this character, so I kind of just want to cut my losses. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's play a er, uh, fucking Saw Butcher, I guess. Because they are better. But they're melee characters, and I suck at melee characters. But apparently I suck at ranged characters, too, so it's not like it really matters. Uh, that was that was disappointing. I was hoping it would be easier in the rich layer to go to first rather than the other place, but nope, it's kind of worse in a couple of ways. And a gun, or not a gunslinger, a sabotage. Get a name that can be pronounced. Get a monocle. And let's go. Although I did have some idea of what I was doing. Wow, this music loud. Just kill these guys, and then I'll look at the stats, because, uh... Not stats, skills. Because holy crap, that music's loud. It's still loud. I was hoping it would turn off because we entered a new area, but Christ, that's loud. Was it that loud for the uh, other character? I probably do want to wear heavy armor, yeah. Aw. I forgot that they changed this.
This used to, uh, you used to get free attacks on enemies if you, uh, like, went around them. Like, say this, uh, like, this fungus right here was an enemy. If you did this to them, you got a free attack every time you moved. And since with, like, max points in that, you used to be able to get, like, four attacks for every one enemy. For, for every one the enemy gets. But that is... Apparently no longer the case. I forgot about that. But it is still a pretty nice effect. The whirlwind effect there. Do the arms. This kind of doesn't seem that great, these skills. Well, that seems pretty good. A, a chance to negate all damage. That seems pretty good. Saw wheels, because why not? Should actually probably like uh, set that to be used when no enemies are visible. And that should be there. <laughs> it was a lot easier to fight that berserker than it was as a gunslinger. There's a better weapon. I don't want to fight both of you at once. No, thank you. How strong is this block? Why is block even a thing if it's zero damage reduction? Why is it zero? Like, shouldn't it be 22? Maybe for a cloak, some other things. There's some steam guns. Just what you wanted as a gun, as a uh, saw butcher, right? And we also need to plant the ball. But I wanted to see if there are any other enemies. Yes, quests. quest cure magical cure mental if only there was mental cure mental physical that'd be that'd be worth getting for sure but I kind of just want to hang on to my money until we see what's in the uh, in crawl tours shop. And yetis in the yeti caves. Oh no. Well, the last time I said that, I got my ass kicked by some riches by going, oh no, not riches. What the hell was that? 
Yet he used Ice Claw. Kinetic Stabilizer. What is that? Teleport and knockback and pinning pinning immunity. Pinning and knock knockback only goes up to 25% though. Oh hey, rocket boots. You know what class those are really good on? Any class that uses a ranged weapon, because you move faster when you have rocket boots active, but it drains steam quickly. Uh, but you move fast, and each time you move, you reload. Especially for a Psy Shot, who doesn't have any other means of reloading quickly other than moving quickly. Because why not? No, I think it's okay to use when enemies are visible. Although it does waste it when enemies are, uh, like, adjacent to me when it activates. Oh, and I leveled up a whole bunch for beating the boss. Right. Well, no, I do want to get some cunning for steam power, at least. And the, the damage of these is based entirely on strength. Well, okay, then. sure which one of these I want to get. Well, I definitely want to get Steam Style Mastery. That goes without saying. Oh, that seems really good. Increased damage of all kinds. Huh, yeah, that seems pretty good. Combat accuracy, some armor training. But that's enough for this video. Hopefully we won't, we won't die next time.